I say this in relation to uh, something that uh, Richard Cordray said. Do you know who Richard Cordray is? Yeah, well, his, he, his name comes up a lot, but I'm always confusing him with Rob Cordray, the comedy guy. <laughs> no, this is not the comedy guy. Yeah, yeah, Richard Cordray. What, he what is, is uh, he is the head of the U.S. Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. You know the thing okay. that, uh, right. that that horrible woman uh, started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, the woman we hated. Yeah, that woman. What's her name? I don't the know. The Indian, the American Indian. He said regarding the – so uh, so – Personal retirement accounts, 401k stuff in America, total value was estimated $19.5 trillion. Sounds right. Cordray said in his recent interview, yeah, that's one of the things we've been exploring and are interested in, in terms of whether and what authority we have. So the, the, there's some what thinking. What does that mean? The thinking is that, oh, uh, hello, uh, we can't trust, uh, banks and other institutions because we are the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Remember, Richard Cordroy, he wrote the book on terrorism, uh, because, you know, that, that poor finances turns people into homegrown terrorists. That's the book that he wrote. That they are going to nationalize the 401ks, nationalize all of the pensions, take it away from the banks and use that as, use the citizens own investments and savings as the true um, backing of all of the bonds. Oh, nice! It, 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 and I'm I'm the, I'm seeing some serious talk about this, and 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 it makes so much sense because I've always wondered why this guy was made the the chief of the finan- the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, which of course you know whenever the government says we're here to help, you know, run the of other course. direction. So you know this is not about being scammed by your credit card company. This is they're going to I think they're going to lay this big farce. Maybe we need to have a big blow up of some, you know, pension fund, which is you know, Europe is certainly you know, showing us the way in that regard. Where all the you know, I had a pension with the the Dutch government broadcasting organization. They sent they tracked me down here, sent me a letter, and said, "Yeah, we're really sorry. You're not getting any money ever." Literally, what? Yeah, really? Yeah, maybe in you know, because I won't retire for a long time. But they're saying you know, foreseeable future, no way. We can't even tell you when any money would be. Paid. It's horrible. It's really, it's really, really horrible. The Dutch pension, you know, of course, the Dutch don't complain. You know, they're they're sheep, um, but there's uh, some, there's some serious uh, uh, serious yeah, well, I conversation be about. Be surprised this. if they didn't confiscate. Uh, yes, confiscate. That's it. I mean, well, that's the word. That's what they're doing. Nationalize, nationalize, nationalize. Also called confiscate. But it, that could be that could be <laughs> that could be a great way to go. I think what that kind of what is, what was the total value seventeen nine, million, nine, nine, trillion? nineteen point four trillion dollars. How much? Nineteen point four trillion. Wow. Yeah, that would be a uh, that would be a boost to the economy to to nationalize that whole money and then put it right buy, buy those bonds back. They're going to have to do something before this collapse situation. This is what I'm talking about. How how much longer until the collapse? How how when do it's I have to start? To take place according to these guys. If you if you believe any of it, uh-huh. yeah, the and cycle, I do, yeah, the cycle. Since it fits into my th- broader theory. Of the book I never can finish. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, harp on that, man. It's, it's okay. supposed to happen at the end of this year, and I would set target maybe October, which would be perfect because generally speaking, most of these things, these collapses do take place in the uh, in the fall. in that month. Right now, what would be interesting is that we've already had a housing market collapse, which is finally settled out and is kind of a bo- you know bouncing along the bottom still. It's moved up a little bit. <laughs> it's, kind like, it's kind of like it's kind of like when they uh, when they the terrorists drag people behind their motorcycle through the sand. Yeah, so it's kind huh? of what's the housing market. <laughs> That's the housing market <laughs> and the stock market really hasn't <laughs> been pounded. In fact, it's way up. Uh, but the bond market is the one that. It, it could just literally collapse, and it'd be a lot of the muni bonds, the ones that are, you know, that. And then when that happens, who wants to own a debt in in Madrid? I mean, the, the Spanish debt. I mean, it's just like. But, but, okay, but when that happens, wouldn't that be the opportune moment uh, to immediately say, "Oh, we've got to protect the citizens. We've nationalized. We 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 grab all the pension funds." Yeah, yeah, that would be. I a think gr- it's actually genius. It's a great plan, right? And so, but then we have. Fourteen point nine or fourteen fourteen and a half trillion dollars. That's much more than we owe, right? We only how much do we owe? 
think we're owing 12, or we may own up to 14. So then all Americans would, look, you're going to have to make the sacrifice. It's the shared responsibility. We're taking your pension fund. We're, <laughs> we're taking wipe, your money. We're wiping the slate clean. It's for your own good. We're wiping the slate clean, and then whatever's left over, we share with everybody. So it'd be, it'd be like $4 trillion left. You can't retire, but, you know, hey. It's, it's, at least you'll be eating American cat food. Well, you could, there's still Social Security. You can retire with that. So, unfortunately, the same... I mean, pe- there are plenty of people that were wiped out by Bernie Madoff yeah. that are now living in apartments, living on Social Security. Yeah. They were worth millions one day. Yeah. Millions. Yeah. But they were worth millions. How many I mean, people? He Who took you- the country for $50 billion. So they're worth millions of dollars. They're living a comfortable life in Florida. And, you know, they get on their wheelchair when they get off the Southwest flight and they go to their place. It's a big, giant mansion. And they got wiped out. And they had to, to, to make ends meet. They had to sell their place and move into an apartment. Now they're living on, you know, $3,000 a month in Social Security. You could probably manage that, but it's not the same. You know, no, it's not. No, gee, understatement of the day. No, it's not the same. It's definitely not. But, but that's what I'll be living on. I, this is why I think they're so adamant about protecting Social Security because it's going to – if you confiscate all this money like you suggest, mm-hmm. which you could probably do in some emergency act yeah. after a cyber Ooh. terror attack. Ooh, I'm liking that. Well, there was that cyber attack on the Federal Reserve. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Might have been a, a dry run. I'm liking this. This is a whole new strategy, John.